Welcome to the next video. Um, rather an impromptu deci to, a decision to make a video about this. Uh, and I must admit I wasn't quite sure what to put because it's not really discount. It's actually using discount to correct an error. Uh, and maybe I can make a separate video about actual discount, but in the whole process I actually saw a few things about discount, which I'm, which I can quickly share with you guys. But just, just for the record, this is not really about discount per se. I mean, if an item costs 10 rand, you buy it for 8 rand because the guy gives you discount. It's something totally different. Well, totally different. Not quite totally different, but yes, um, you actually want that 8 rand to be reflected in your cost. Uh, what happened with me was, maybe I can just share that with you, let's bring this up on the screen. I've blanked out the company details, uh, it's not necessary for me to share that. Um, I actually purchased something today and while I was entering it into uh, ERP Next, uh, I saw this, it's 59762 and there's five. 9760. And I figured out, I checked all the uh, values here. They all tally up. But that value there, if you multiply 1439 by 4, it's not 5754, it's actually 5756. So this company's spreadsheets or whatever they use. Uh, it must be a rounding error. All right, so now I'm stuck with a problem. My invoice says 60, and I've actually paid six, uh, 62, sorry. The invoice says 62, 59762, and I've actually paid 60. So now when I enter it into ERP Next, the invoice is going to say 62. It's going to demand a pay payment of 0.62, and the bank statement says 0 0.60. What now? So the only real way to do it is to say, all right, well, I got a discount uh, from the price. And this is where the word discount comes from. Now, I've tried two ways to do it. I've already done it, so I'm going to just show you the purchase invoices. Um, if you open up the, while you're entering the purchase invoice, you enter the items and you this is the actual design cost. If you look at the, um, there's a design, oh, where's my cursor? There's a design fee as well. And now, of course, you can create an item design and you can put it as an item here. I chose to do it here. Created that 5121 account, which is third party 3D design costs. So it's against that account. And then, of course, your normal VET, uh, which is on previous row total. On previous row total, um, which says calculated based on that and not not on this. All right. <clears throat> All right. So after I enter it, I actually enter the additional discount amount, 0.02 year, and it lands up as 0.60. All right. So that's one way to do it. At least the payments match up. Um, unfortunately, it looked like there was a bit of a rounding somewhere. Not quite sure where that came in. If I look at the general ledger, uh, that is purchase invoice. Um, it's ACC dash purchase invoice 2021 dash 2. There we go. So there you go. You can see the actual purchase total is 0 0.60, which is correct. So if I make this payment, which I haven't done, the bank amounts would reflect correctly. But now the stock in hand is actually 0 0.27 um, and it took one cent off the rounding error. So I must still look at how I did this. I tried bigger amounts um, rounding off, you know, when there's an invoice for 513 rand 83 cents, I discounted 83 and it handles it correctly. There must be some rounding here somewhere.
Anyway, so not quite satisfactory the way it handled it, but the end result was that it gave me 0 0.60 against which I can make a payment. Of course, so the bank, everything would be happy. So that's one way. Uh, the other way is to actually leave the invoice exactly the way it is. In other words, it comes to a total of, if you scroll down, 62. Let's just scroll up again. There's my items. There's the design cost. And there's the VAT. All right, so you don't do anything here. You don't do any discounts whatsoever. You let that go through. And then, when you do the payment, now I'll open up a new payment just now and actually physically show you. But let me just have a show you what I've done here. Payment entry. So, oh, by the way, just keep a track of the numbers. The, the purchase invoice was three and the payment entry is two. All right. So, uh, when we look at the general ledger. <clears throat> all right. So, what happens is here on the payment entry, you actually change this value and you say what is the actual paid amount, 0 0.60. All right. Um, and then on the line item here, um, it will it will it'll change that of course automatically to 0 0.60. All right. But then you click on the edit button and you change that back to 0 0.62. So now the paid amount and the allocated amount differ. Okay. And then what it'll do is, and I'll show you just now, um, there it'll list a difference account, a, a amount, sorry, not account, amount of two cents, and there'll be a button here that says write off. <clears throat> now I suspect you could actually go directly to the deductions and loss and fill it in by hand, but the fact that you click the write off button auto fills this in with the amount and the cost center, but then it says write off account. I changed it to an account which I created. I must actually show that to you quickly because you have got to have a discount account. It, that is not created by default. All right. Um, I'll get to the account chart of accounts just now. There's still a purchase invoice that's not paid. So let me just run through that. Um, a let's call it a live um, example. So on our purchase invoice, there's one that's unpaid. So we go there. I'm not going to save and submit this. Actually, I just want to show you create a payment. All right. Um, uh, now this, oh, this one, of course, um, is one of the test runs I did. So th that invoice was already for 60 cents. So if I now want to simulate that, we go 58 cents. And you'll see it changes that to 58. Now you go in there and you say allocated is actually 60. Now just keeping in mind, this is not, this is now a, um, uh, in, 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 in the real correction one, this will be 62. All right. <clears throat> and there you can see it raises or fills in the two cents correction here as a difference amount. Now, I should imagine that you can actually add a row and add that in there by hand. But um, I haven't tried it, so maybe you guys can try that. But you say write off difference amount, and it auto fills this in two cents on that cost center on that account. And all you do is you just delete it, and you say, what was that? I think it was four two one zero. Yeah, there we go. Discount received for purchase. Okay. Um, now. Let me show you the journal entry on purchase invoice three. There you can see the actual invoice was still 62. All right. Um, it put my stock in hand valuation at 28 cents, which is correct, which is what it should be if you look at uh, the actual true invoice. If you add up these values, um, you'll get to that um, 302.28. Um, 
and then uh, yeah there's the VAT and there's the third party design cost all right but now to see the uh, payment we have to do this just filter out the payment oh no that's not how you spell payment there we go there's payment number two all right um, and there you can see the the uh, the actual creditors invoice is 62 the payment is 60 so my bank account um, will reflect the correct value as I've paid it but now the discount received is credited by two cents so it all works out very well so this is actually the the, the way to do a correction um, using discounted methods obviously oh there's the, the I promise you I'll show you that uh, if you want to do discount really let's just quickly do it uh, maybe at some stage I'll do a proper video on this but if you want to discount the item you edit that button of course you go here yeah, to discount amount and you fill that in or percentage and then it'll discount that item only all right if you get a discount for early payment then I would suggest you use this additional discount which is based on the grand total all right so um, the payment method is where you want to make a correction let me just quickly show you where I've done the chart of accounts because obviously the this is an income but it's an indirect income it's not a direct income it's an indirect income there I've created the account uh, discount received for purchase all right and by the way just to highlight as well um, that under your company settings just make sure that you've got uh, all your the write-off account for instance set up correctly while I was doing this I suddenly realized I don't know if it was set up but it was it was by default but you can perhaps just double check that all right hope you found that helpful uh, if you've got a correction to make um, in terms of any payments